Epic intro music. Hello, Pinwalls, a Lurgan Victor here, and welcome back to part 11 of my Rohan campaign for Divide and Conquer version 5. Now, I'm going to include this one. I did a little bit off screen as usual, but I'm going to include this one because they've got some cool troops, to be honest. I'm guessing he is just a Brennan's guard. He is. But the rest of his army is pretty cool. They're, they've got some Harriers and some Hill Riders, which, as usual, we'll probably deal with. I don't think they're heavy camp, but they are. They do look slightly higher tiered than their basic Hill Riders. They have Warband sentries, some really tough crossbow unit. They have a unit of Warband blades. Again, 18 total events, very good. And the Raiders, I think, are the sort of step down from the blades but that is not they've got some good units there they've come out from by rig to meters um and then after that we could siege it down to try to get them to sally over this side they didn't sally i went back to farbad with a few troops they didn't sally so i sent another unit of spearmen that's this guy back to dunlarak they need the reinforcements anyway and i'm going to keep removing spearmen until farbad sallies to be honest because we can't wait another 10 turns um, but yes, I'm just going to get underway with this one. Oh yes, and something absolutely fantastic happened with the diplomacy. Um, <laughs> oh, you're going to laugh. It's kind of, it feels a little bit cheesy. Didn't know it was going to happen. But um, now, um, Ennard Wife, I think I already told you this, but Ennard Wife are our allies now. Um, so we, we're the only ones they're in diplomatic relations with. They've got they're not at war with anyone, and they don't have any allies except for us. That's not the funny thing that I'm telling you about now. That's just setting the scene. And then I got the diplomat round to the Yard and I managed to get an alliance with them by giving them map information. They're not very trustworthy, so I don't expect that one to hold, but they're not yet at war with Dol Amroth. <laughs> so we could potentially have them on side if things go our way. They decide to attack Harad before Dol Amroth. They are allied with us, and that might keep them out of the war. That would, fingers crossed, be what happens. And I'd hope Kand, I hope Kand, um, will betray Mordor too. But um, I can't rely on that um, because I, I really do get the impression that when you play as a good faction like Rohan, the dwarves always turn evil and can always stay with Mordor. Now I might not be tr that might not be true. It might just have a very high percentage, but I've never seen it kind of go your way before if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, R. R. Denaim, they are now Rohan's allies and not at war with anyone just like Ennard Wife. And then on the turn, Erid Lewin got the gift from Mordor and broke off relations. What is going on here? Let's just charge them. No, actually, we'll charge the crossbow unit if they want to just be out of formation like this. So, um, Erid Lewin accepted the gift from Mordor, making them an evil faction. And they got a truce with Gundabad and Angmar. And... You know, they cancelled their alliance with the Northern Dunedain, the High Elves, etc. Um, come on, form up. Get into them. We do want to eliminate this unit. And then they declared war on the High Elves, as they do when they accept the gift um, from Mordor. So they were at war with the High Elves. Um, and then on that turn, I managed to get a diplomat over there too, because I've got four diplomats that I was slowly walking around. Um, so I got a diplomat over there too, and I offered them an alliance for map information, and they took it too. It must be because we are the most powerful faction in the game now. <laughs> and you'll never guess what happened. When they, Erid Lewin accepted the alliance with us, um, it instantly, instantly caused a ceasefire with the High Elves. I don't know why that happened exactly, um, and I don't know how it let us do it, but I think it was because it happened on the exact same turn, sort of at the same time, that they, that's, that it allowed that it was allowed to happen. Right, let's get these out. So, 
I am now allied to Ered Lewin, the High Elves, R. R. Denyme, the Northern Dunedain, um, Bree, um, the rest, all of the good factions, basically, including R. R. Denyme and Ered Lewin. Those are the shockers. Anna and wife. I guess that's a shocker too. So we're pulling back a little bit because of the cavalry. Might call in the royal guard here. We'll just see what they fancy firing at. Um, honestly, you can all just take a different target. Fearden isn't going to lose to that cav, although there is another unit of cav coming in. So we want to mop up these guys quickly. And it looks like they're not actually targeting us, which is useful. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, they're pulling out. And now the Brennan's guard is right there too. Um, but we're going to have to go around for this cab though. They're, they're going to have to skirmish. I think we're going to have to bring in the Royal Guard for that cab. Um, yep. Yeah. Change of plan. So yeah, to cut the story short, to cut the story short, basically, yes, Erid Lewin are now our allies. They have already betrayed the High Elves and declared war at them, but they got a ceasefire. I don't know how long the ceasefire will hold, but because it was only one turn, their relations might not be damaged that much. So they might not actually go to war against the friendly nations now. And they might go back to war against Angmar. We've just got to hold, keep our fingers crossed and hope that buys us a few more turns for something exciting to happen. If we've managed to stop Ered Lewin turning evil, that would be amazing. Okay, I'm guessing that the Ered skirmishers are... Okay, these guys are coming in. This isn't exactly how we wanted to play it. But, yes, it's, we made it a little bit messy, but we were telling a story. But I think it was an important story. So, Royal Guard, we're going to get you back out. Okay, Fierda needs to get out of here as well. We're going to have to charge them into the back of them because we need to get Fierda now. The Brennan's Guard are in there. Okay. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, okay. Now we've just got to. I'm sorry for pausing again, but uh, they're just blades. We could charge them. Um, but I just want to make sure the archers are all doing the right thing. Shoot the Brennan's guard. Shoot the Brennan's guard. And then, honestly, they can charge the blades as well. And then the Royal Guard get out. They're only fighting the light cav now, actually, so it might be all. Oh, there's some raiders in there. Just get out, yeah. Don't want to lose too many of the Rohirrim. Okay, you get out for a final charge. Honestly, the Royal Guard could probably handle all that cavalry on their own. But we'll go in a system. They're all firing at the Brennan's Guard. The Brennan's Guard are going to be done. All the missile units going for them. And then we'll run the skirmishes back over here. Kill the general, that would be good. Get over there. Line up. Obviously, we can't retrain the Royal Guard just yet, I don't think. So, uh, we'll send them after the raiders. So, we don't really want to be using them. I'm just using them because they're basically as fearsome as the general's bodyguard. And they're in a bigger unit. And then we'll mop up the general too when we get a chance. Again, not the best charge look. They, they're still standing and fighting.
Okay, you charge, and you get out. Right. Oh no, now sandwich them. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Archers run. Uh, the Brennan's Guard, we could charge anyone into, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I would rather just clean these guys up first and charge them myself. Okay, you could do a counter charge, but I'm not going to. Let's kill this named general. He had a decent army, they were just isolated. Oh, look at the Brennan's Guard, they look so cool. I would have to, I think I might have to do a Dunlap campaign at some point. That looks pretty fun. Um, but we've got to win this one first. It may look like it's turning a bit too easy, um, We, but we caught Dunland unawares quite early on, to be fair, and we've done a good job clearing up all their troops. 280 kills from Theoden himself. Yes. Um, but where I was going with that explanation was it's definitely going to get harder, that we're not going to be able to just walk through like Mordor or something like that. We're going to need to be paying a better army of higher tiered troops and we're going to need to get them over to support Gondor soon, as soon as possible. But we need to just round this up quickly. We have to get rid of the general because if we give him back, it just keeps their al uh, a faction alive too long. So I think I've done apps I think I've done all of the movement I can this turn. Um, yeah, we're just leaving these guys in place for the moment because we don't really need to talk to anybody else now that we've achieved our goals. Um, but yes, we I'm pretty sure we've done absolutely everything we can. We're just hoping that they will now sally because we've taken another unit out. And look, it's only seven units against six units so if i'll just keep removing a spearman every turn until they sally but yes this is completely open i kind of want to take this give this to the elves i think that's a really good plan um farbad is a lucrative settlement byrig will be and dunlarak is Bylet isn't uh, this one's a castle so it won't be too much i think dunyard is pretty good Bregnas is fairly good and yeah, anyway, I'm happy with all this, but I kind of want to also take this goblin territory up here and give it to the elves. I think the elves will benefit the most from it. I may give this one to the dwarves just, you know, for law's sake, give them Khazad Doom back. Uh, there's Seloniac, which we can see is rebel because of this boundary line. So we could even take that one too, give that one to the northern Dunedain. I think it would be cool to completely mop up in the north and make our borders secure with a stronger buffer state of strong high elves and a strong northern Dunedain. Um, I think that would be really fun. And also give the dwarves a bit more power too and they might fight back against Dol Gildor or something like that. Um, I've never really seen how well it goes when you sell settlements to friendly nations. I've never really done it before so I'm very interested to see how it goes. But anyway, yes, I think I'm ending the turn now. I definitely don't want to salt the walls of Farbad um, unless they have, like, only one unit in there because they've got some good upgrades on their city walls and these two places would pr be pretty decent to defend against the Orcs as well. So let's end the turn. But yes, like the story I was telling, the diplomacy has gone our way finally, so we just have to keep that going and just... Fingers crossed that it buys the friendly nations more time. Time to destroy the ring. <laughs> I love saying that. They didn't sally at either of them. That's such a pain. Because I'm not sitting there for 11 turns. Okay, so um, Sinwise has got a suitable husband. So somebody, one of the women came of age, maybe? Um, anyway, we need... Ben's the truth, that's not good. But we need everyone we can get at the moment. Byrig besieged by us. The main city of the Dunish king is now besieged by numerous attackers. The tribesmen must defend their homeland at all cost. Otherwise they will be either enslaved or slaughtered. 
None of these choices are acceptable for the proud people of Dunlin. If they fail, their beloved city will be plundered, its halls burnt, and the sacred monuments destroyed. This act of war can't remain unpunished, so the levies and huntsmen have to take their weapons and show their enemies their courage and strength. I'm just now realising that that could mean a second doom stack. Is there really two doom stacks per faction? That's not something I knew. Maybe it's new in version 5. I've really got a feeling that there's going to be a full stack marching on me now. And I'm kind of concerned about it. No, Iphilian, the Iphilian Rangers are on the other side of the river. So maybe that just means they've taken the fort that Faramir spawns in at the beginning of the game. Because they don't actually have an actual region over there. Either way, it looks like Mordor are getting the edge. And that's the main takeaway from that. That is not good. So I couldn't see another Doom stack. Like, let's hope that they don't get one. But on the end turn, yes, they might do. I mean, I had a look around up here. I don't think it's going to spawn in our territory. And I think we would probably see it if it was down here. But I am going to bring him round down here just to double check. You never know, he might, Sally. But while I'm sieging him, he can't recruit troops either, I don't think. So we've got both their last two settlements sieged down. I don't think they can do much. We're just going to check to see we've moved everything and then we'll end the turn. So we have a new general in Isengard. I think I'm going to take him out. He's currently getting free upkeep and I don't think Erkenbrand does though. No, he doesn't. I'm. But then again, Erkenbrand might be producing a ton more money. Um... No, no, they're still 1822. It drops the public order a little bit, but it's not earning less money, look. We can move Erkenbrand. I'm going to do that. Um, we kind of want to use Erkenbrand a bit more, but for now, we'll get him to sort out the public order. It'll take him a little while, but... It looks like the economy there is not going to take a hit, which is absolutely fantastic. And here, we can... We are building the guard barracks, which is the next level of barracks, so we'll have the better infantry training in the Hornburg soon. Yes. Um, probably just in time for building another army too. And we've just got to watch Ioma, because Ioma is still completely isolated. We can't do anything with him at the moment. And we just pulled out another yes. unit from that army, hoping that they will sally. We could fine. split this army, because again... Ah, yeah, that's a good idea. We might split the army, because there is nothing else around, and we want them to sally. If they sally, we'll probably trash them with Fearden. Yes. So um, let's just take all the Rohirrim out. We could even send one back for retraining, but... Yeah, yeah let's send all the Rohirrim back to Dunlarak for now. It's still rioting. Yes, okay. So King Yagfak the Bloody has sallied. Let's get into this one. I'm looking forward to wiping Dunland off the map. Uh, Fearden on that side. And the Royal Guards where you are. But just in case the towers are going to shoot at us, this is why I did not want to siege this place down. Actually, the archers can go s closer, can't they? But if anything starts shooting at me, I'm going to pull the whole army back. And we'll just fight over there. Here we go. This is Dunlan's doom. There is an absolute chewing. And they have no poon. <laughs> That's the only thing I could rhyme. That is all thank God. That is not a joke. That is going to shoot the crap out of me. Let's get feared and... Okay. I don't like how they're all bunched, but as long as the towers don't shoot at us, fingers crossed. As soon as they separate a little bit more, I 
Okay, if these Axemen want to come this way. Okay, you shoot at the Raiders. Yeah, skirmish properly, please. Right, okay, they're shooting at us. So we need to... Oh my god, look, they're doing quite a lot of damage. So we need the Royal Guard in this battle to wear down the Orphank Guard. Because look, we've lost horses already getting shot by those crossbows. Okay, great charge. Get out of there. See what we do to the Orphank Guard. Probably not a lot, but... Okay, you get out, but it just stops them firing. That unit is a scary unit. I think that's the same one as Saruman had, but it's like obviously the Dunland version. Okay, well, I'm happy if you want to keep chasing me, because you're going to be taking Archer Fire. Okay, um, you can start shooting them then. Okay, these guys I'm not worried about. The ones up there I'm more worried about. Okay, so we're going to get you out just because we've got to get these guys out. Yeah, the charges are not going... The exchange is not going well uh, for the Royal Guard up there. But what are they doing? <sighs> they were not listening. Okay. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, so we got some of the royal card, the royal guard defeated. That is unfortunate. They're getting shot at by them, and they're not really doing any damage though. So I might just get them out. That unit is just flailing around. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, shoot at them though. Okay, and we're going to have to charge them with the Royal Guard too, I think. Um, oh, and pop the special ability. Oh, there's long spears, though, behind them. Anyway, just get into them. No for no for I'm hoping the special ability will somehow save them a little bit. Some guy died. Yeah, look, that is not going well. We need to get Fearden out of that. Yeah, he's still alive. I don't really know what I'm going to do here. We might have to do a similar thing to Saruman, but that means we might end up gonna have to just charge them down it's just these spears we're gonna have to just charge into the spears I'm afraid okay 15 12 how many are left four are left we'll just kill them now Come on, that was a good charge, I think. Yes, we killed about 20 of them there. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And I'm hoping this charge is what we need to... Okay, it is. Get them back in. Get Fearden out. It's lucky we have such elite cavalry here. Um, swinging in our favor. Okay. Tidings, does victory okay. Oh, no. I wanted to get them out. Okay, that is definitely not a good idea to charge them in. I was just... I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. You just get out now, I think. Sandwich, sandwich, good. Yeah, we killed some, we killed some. 
Get Theoden out! Yeah, we are getting quite a lot of these guys killed, but... They are down to 38 now, at least. So we are still just about outnumbering them. We'll try and reform, though. And try and get a good charge, good sandwich charge. Let's hope that does a good charge. At least they're aiming at the one that isn't feared, and that looked like a good charge, though. Okay, they're down to 20 men. We should do it this time. If we continue like this, we will smash Get there. Get there and run, please. Um, they might get a volley off us doing it like this, but I want the good charge. Oh, they're aiming at Theoden now. That's a pain. Get back, get back, get back. How many have they got left now? They're down to their last six. Okay. I'm kind of happy with six men. We don't even need to sandwich them. Let's get them all out, and then we're going to charge down. Well, there's only six of them. I'm going to pull everybody in to slam them. And yes, just like this, we have killed their faction leader and taken by rig. I say just like this, we did take a hit on the Royal Guards and those guys don't replenish. <laughs> right. I will obviously pull... Oh, there's no point charging those ones in. They're miles away. Okay. I'm hoping we just have to grind down the King now. It looks like that is what's happened. Could pull those guys out anyway. Um, and then just grind them down. With our more elite units. Yes! Not just the enemy general, the enemy king. This is a great okay, Dunland are almost done. They just hold on to Farbad by a thread. Okay, it looks like we might be able to occupy it. I'm going to risk it. Because we, we want to move Irma out as well. We could just leave him over here. Dunland's leader is dead. Oh, another bride. By Rake Fallen. Grim news that reached the ears of the Dunlendings, for those who had hoped their city would be spared from the upcoming onslaught were wrong. The weak walls and the few watchtowers were no match for the catapults and the rams of the invaders. We took neither of those. They prowled in a besieged settlements like maggots do from a rotten wound, and the Dunlenders who were resisting had been killed with no mercy. Many of them now lie on the ground, with their brothers and companions at arms besides. Their blades could not match the weaponry of their foes, just as their clothes and simple leather armor did not protect them from the blows. Dunland dwindles, they are down to just Farbad. What was the spilling of simple hatred into the land once theirs has turned to the swirling cries of grieving widows? Amongst the huts of the hill folk, the crow, the crow feathered dead lie in a funeral pyres and burn for the dreams that were fed by eternal bitterness. The dead do not speak, but their sacrifice is just one part in a dance to the death. Still yet the hunger could save them, for hunger is more than drive some other men to victory. The dwarves approach. And um, yeah, so basically this, uh, it's going to cost us five grand. Maybe that's why we haven't been offered it already. But we can cede the glittering caves to the dwarves, who will act as our vassals should they succeed. And then we'll be able to recruit dwarven units, elite dwarven units um, from the Hornburg. Um, do we accept this proposal, my lord? Yes, we do. And uh, the dwarves stand with us. We have accepted the offer of clan lord of Ered Lewin and have informed that a large contingent of civilians are en route from Foreign's Halls and I'm guessing we're allied with Erebor will do the same too I'm guessing because we're allied with them too look I don't know if that means we have to send like a diplomat back over to them or not maybe we walk one into their territory just to see because we've got spare diplomats 
another family member. Uh, oh, King Theoden, Conqueror of Vyrig. He has now got Conqueror of Vyrig. I love that. Um, Vyrig, Standing Stones on the first turn. That has just reminded me, we'll get a spy. I want to go spy on Mordor. So again, we're going to end the turn. Hope they sally. We've had to pull out even more troops. He's got like, Theodrum's got like no units now. <laughs> so I really hope we can actually still win that battle. Um, if he doesn't sally now, I don't know what I'm going to try. Okay, Lyonnais. He doesn't actually look very Rohiric, does he? Let's get him two, because we need... Ooh, Mistraland besieged. Oh, okay, so R. R. Denheim has declared war on Dol Amroth. We are going to stay allied with Dol Amroth, of course. So that alliance didn't last long. I didn't really expect it to, but I was hoping that it might get them to declare war on Harad instead. Look at all this. The economy is now booming. Uh, more family members. Look at this. Fridswide Sinberg. I don't think they all show up. I think some of them are sons and daughters of ones that aren't in the same family tree. I think there's like other houses. Okay, so let's see where the extra commander has spawned. In Edoras, okay. Um, so we basically just want to send him to any of these which don't have one. Uh, we could actually send him all the way up here because we're probably going to need more governments up. That's probably a better idea. Send him all the way up here. So we need something with public order over here. And honestly, a stables would be good to retrain some of the cav. Um, the tomb's only three turns. Okay, so they still didn't sally. So we're actually going to send some troops back to Theodred. And the goblins of Moria have declared war on us. <laughs> Yeah, I felt like we were just waiting around for a bit too long, but now we are at proper war with the Goblins of Moria. Imladris is besieged, Kerandros under attack, so we need to help the High Elves out first. Let's just get the Diplomat over there to see what's going on. War! That is good, so that's answered where we're going next. Forers, and ooh, Ginyard's ready to upgrade as well. Yeah, we've got 8,000, so we'll do it. We'll get start getting some mines as well. Right, it's good. Right, let's see what's going on here. Urkenbrand oh. is definitely going to sort out that public order. Good. Retrain everybody, and then we'll move... We'll definitely move them out once they're all retrained. I don't think we can get EMA out yet. Oh, we can, we can. Nice. And then we'll get the military garrison as well to maintain public order. Let's basically move on Ossin Edil, but we'll go from this side. Um, you are going to head back to... Oh, I can't even get back to him. <laughs> but yes, if possible, we want to send some units back now to Farbad, because they're definitely going to sally, but we're just going to wait out the five turns. But yes, on the next turn, these guys are going to reinforce them. If they sally now, that would be a bit of a pain, but... Okay, because I have been sitting around for a long time this episode, I've got a lot to cut. Um, I am going to do one more battle and then end the episode there. Okay, so we're actually going to sally out. I'll bring the spy down just to look. It's not something scary. Um, oh, they have got a warg pack. Look, they have got a warg pack. But they don't seem to have any riders. But that is good against Cav. I think we'll still manage to shoot them. I am going to attack this one. We're going to watch this. They're actually not too bad, look. 17 defense on those guys. And the warg pack, even though there's no people in it, there's no riders, that has the captain, so he must be following them. Right, so we're going to... We march into battle. What I was going to say is I'm ending the episode after this battle. Okay, starting the battle. Right, let's get them all out. Royal Guard over there, Fearden over there. Let's go! Forward. 
Don't run that far away. Look, they're going further back. <laughs> they're not withdrawing as well, are they? We might have to give chase if they're going to withdraw. This could be their plan, though. Yeah, we're gonna look. The wargs. Look how far the wargs have gone. We're gonna have to hit them so that they don't get over the red line. What a pain! Look, they're gonna get over the red line. Some of them. Okay, these guys are turning at least. Okay, they're turning back, they're turning back, that's good. Okay, we've mashed up those overseers, which is nice. Still, get out of there, we want a better charge than that. Yep, they've been mashed up and all. Okay, got to watch the wargs, because of course the wargs are anti-cav. I didn't know this when fighting Isengard. Okay, you're going to get over there. Actually, you three, shoot the warp pack. If they're not going to come towards our cab. Okay. The, the big unit is actually the least... The smallest threat. Okay. Oh, good lord. Okay, we're going to have to get over there. I'm afraid, guys. Yeah. They're not skirmishing very well, are they? Okay, we're going to have to get over there and attack the wargs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that is not going to plan at all. What is happening? Why are they so small? They look so small on the... Okay, they're still pretty big. Is the warg pack kind of like dogs on the... Like war dogs? I don't know. Anyway, we need to get over there. Good lord. Okay, we've killed about half of them still. I can't get the cavalry to line up, but... Okay, we need to get into them. We need to get into them. Right, over here. Get out. Yeah, it does look like we've mashed them up. Look, there's only 56. Don't know why there's 56. Can't see 56, look. Looks like that cavalry charge did most of the work, Lit. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Okay, you two just start shooting at their weak unit then. The enemy general abandons his men. Good, good. Slain the enemy general. <laughs> Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Okay. So it's definitely smooth sailing from here. As if that guy's not routing. <laughs> Kill him. Wasting all the ammo on them. Alright, form up and then we'll just finish this. Oh, we'll kill those two first. Only half the enemy force remains. Get in, get in, 
Might as well just finish them off now, stop everyone firing. The enemy army please the field. Pursue and run them down. Good. Now delete that small army and there was actually a couple of not bad units. This is a great victory. Heroic victory, of course. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, in which we can take down Farber. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.